Okay, so the things that you'll need <coughs> to make this voltage staff pedal is I'm just going to use one of these enclosures. It's a 51 by 51 millimeter enclosure. We're going to be able to get all our components in there. I've got one knob, which is going to go on the front. I've got a potentiometer, which is a 10K. This is a C10K. I've gone through quite a few potentiometers just to see which one works best for what I'm doing. Um, most pedals cut off at about four volts. So yeah, you're not gonna get anything out of them from four volts, but this this has got a good range on it. Anything bigger than this, it, it, everything's up that end. Um, this, this still keeps the light on when it's on zero. Um, even though you don't get much coming through, much signal coming through, but th there's more there's more give on the whole range of the potentiometer. So when it's on full, it's on full nine volts, and when it's on off, it's on zero volts. But with the C10K, this has helped. This has worked best for me. You're gonna need two DC jacks, um, and then you're gonna need some wire and some soldering skills to kind of. Put it all together and obviously we're going to need to drill our box what i'm going to do i think i'm going to top load these dcs so you're going to have two dcs on the top there the power comes from the top because i've seen them on the side and i'm like i don't i don't want them on the side i think i think they look better on top loaded and then i'm going to put a potentiometer on the top and then that is basically it is a very it's a simple little device all right i'm going to put all this together um, and I'm going to do some more demo of what it sounds like. I, I really like the, the, the sound I'm getting through my drone synth. Um, you get this weird sounds like it's a bit like a Geiger counter sound when it's starved of voltage. Um, transistor fuzzes work really good because I think transistors can still operate on really low voltage. Whereas IC chips, I think they need about 4.5 volts to actually power the chip. I think transistors might need less power to, to work. So my um, he's a Mitas and Octave fuzz is working kind of cool with that. And then my, my uh, drone synth as well is, is working pretty well. Um, but yeah, I'll show you some uh, bits and pieces through there. Okay, so I've got this all put together. What I've done, I got rid of the 10k pot and I put a 1k pot in because with the 10k pot everything was all down this end and there was nothing like the, the pedal would just cut out um, as soon as you went like past here. So the 1k pot has complete range on the whole dial. So down here will be like kind of really flat battery so you've got a really bitty sound, low volume. And about halfway, you've got a really crunchy distortion sound on, on full, so it sounds really good. And then on full is just your full 9 volts. So yeah, I've been experimenting, and, and halfway it seems to be pretty good. On, on the um, on the kind of transistor fuzzes, um, it sounds pretty good. Um, I've got a transistor with octave fuzz, so I'm going to test it through that. I'll show you what it sounds like. Um, just quickly, I'll just show you how this is all wires up inside. So obviously I've top mounted my um, two DCs. So you, your inputs go in there. That's the control knob. And then inside, we've just got a, a 1K pot. Your legs one and two go to nine volt. Both of your uh, grounds are connected together. And then the other nine volt goes to the um, leg three of the potentiometer. That is it. I'm thinking of getting a letter press uh, punch, a letter punch set, just to punch in, just to have a go at doing that. I've never done it before. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool to try out on this. Um, and then just put one of my stickers on here. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through and do demo and show you what it sounds like. I've just got a, he's a Mitas with an octave on here. Um, and I've got a HM2. Um, th this has got ICs in it, this has got transistors in it, so I'll just I'll show the difference of, of what this um, voltage control um, does to it. <clears throat> this is the voltage controller. This is on full, so it's on 9 volts. It's working, it's working kind of cool, makes a crunchier sound on like half. 
So I guess that's like 4.5 volts. And then it goes right down. You're gonna lose the volume. So, I mean, if you're gonna record this, you'd probably turn the volume up a bit more if you want more of that kind of weird crunchy noise that, it, that you get from it. But I just wanna show you what it sounds like. Um, so hopefully the volume, you'll be able to hear it as, as the um, voltage goes down. All right, so I've just got it through my micro dark and it's the sounds coming through a four by 12. Um, you'll have some of the, um, the sound from the room and some of the sounds from the SM57 as well that I've got plugged in here. All right, so I'm just gonna go through and do the He's a Metas first, which is transistor fuzz. If you see me switching this switch, this is just the octo switch. It, it gives a little bit more volume as well, so I'll just kind of try two different things there. So obviously it's my clean tone.
I'm just going to switch over to my uh, HM2. I'm going to start off with a uh, bit of a that's a clean chat channel. Start off with a bit of a chainsaw sound. So on the whole, this is generally a pretty kind of useful effect if you want to kind of degrade your sound uh, or just kind of, yeah, just get a, you can, on the fuzz ones, I tend, tend to find it, it gives you a bit more of a, more of a distortion sort of feel. It maybe, it maybe emulates what clipping does in a way, or it just, it just gets your waveform to a point where it's a little bit more like distorted rather than big and fuzzy so you've got a bit more of a range on, on what you can do with it um, yeah it's really cool and I think you can build these in to any circuit really all you have to do is put the potentiometer in between um, your circuit and your 9 volt um, so you've got the extra control and you'll get that so um, definitely cool but it's cool just to have a standalone little device like this um, where you can where you can have uh, control over your voltage. Um, really cool, really cool project. Thanks for watching.